Hello fire signs, I'm here to give you some insight and guidance in this current space and time. This is not going to be a monthly reading, I'm just asking spirit to meet you guys where you're at. So this is going to be for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So this is not going to apply to all fire signs, but that's okay because it's a general reading. So let's just take a look at Aries, see what's surrounding Aries. I will be pulling an additional message for each sign at the end. Okay, Hangman, Ace of Wands, Prince of Cups. So, um, Aries, you may be, have been in a situation where you felt stuck, where you felt like things weren't really moving as fast as you would like. Okay. Uh, but things are definitely moving forward because we have the Ace of Wands. Um, you have a new sense of uh, vitality. You feel renewed. You just really feel good after getting out of this hangman energy. And now you're moving over to the Prince of Cups. So you're feeling a, a little bit romantic or maybe even a lot more romantic now that you're out of this stagnant energy. For others of you, um, you could be in this energy right now. You could be laid up. Okay, uh, when I say laid up, it could be that you maybe you're you're in a stagnant, you're in a at a standstill, not stagnant. Well, it could be stagnant, but you're at a standstill right now. Okay, uh, for others of you, I'm getting an image of you. For some of you, could have like an injury, or you're 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 like laid up. Okay, you're not able to really move. Okay, it could be physically, it could be even mentally, just feeling mentally stuck. Um, so if you're in this vibration, it's really a call for you to tap into this Ace of Wands energy. Okay, free yourself. Okay, for yourself, um, renew your life, review your outlook, review, uh, renew your perspective on things, okay? Um, I don't want to show this too long but because he's naked, but you see here, it's like he's stuck. He's stuck in this place, and it's calling for you to just shoot up, you know? Um, <laughs> not shoot up, but... Um, you know, raise your vibrations, break free from this confinement that you either put yourself in or that you're involved involved in, okay? I'm hearing confinement, so you could be, it could be in regards to relationship, okay? You could be in confinement, all right? Hopefully you're not being held against your will or anything like that, God forbid, but um, it's time for you to free yourself. Also, for some of you, like I'm hearing libido, your libido could be a little bit off, and it's a call for you to really uh, try to get your... <laughs> Try to try to you know get some passion into your life, okay? Hence is you know you see here the Prince of Cups here, so it's a call for you to you know get some romance back into your life because that's really going to make you feel good. It's make it's going to help you look at things in a different perspective. It's going to give you a surge of energy, okay? So that's for some of you Aries, okay? Um, what else am I getting from this? Um. Yeah, most importantly, look at things from a different perspective. Also, uh, Aries is a call for you guys to uh, let go of something. Some of you could be holding on to something, um, holding on to a way of thinking or a certain behavior. You could be holding on to, you know, someone, you know, it really could be anything. But it's really a call for you to um, try to look at things in a different perspective, okay? Um, some of you could be very serious. And it's just, just a need for you to really be more cheerful because this one is shooting up towards the sun. So the sun is cheerful. It's, they're happy. They're jovial, you know. Okay, so Leo. Okay, Leo. Ooh, this card fell out. Seven of Wands fell out. Leo, are you trying to keep somebody at bay or are you trying to, are you fighting to stay on top? Are you creating some type of boundaries? Okay, Leo, Leo. Okay, what's surrounding Leo? We got Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups. Okay, so Leo, um, 
Okay, I'm hearing like some delayed communications. Um, for some of you, there you're dealing with some type of delayed communications. Maybe you're waiting for news to come in or some type of message to come in, but it's delayed. Okay, this could be coming from a person. Um, okay, uh, this could be in regards to a person. Okay, you could be wanting to uh, receive a message from this person, but it's kind of delayed. Um, I'm seeing here it's really call for you, Leo, to fill your own cup because the Ace of Cups here, um, this is an opportunity for renewal. Um, I'm also seeing that there's a need for you while you're on this respite period because some of you kind of are on this respite period. You're, you're, you're <laughs> doing your own thing. You're just kind of tending to your weeds. You could be tending to your weeds in your garden or tending to your weeds internally. Like you're picking something, like you're removing something from you. You're removing something that no longer serves you. It could be a relationship. It could be ways of thinking. It could be anything, but you're pruning. You're doing some internal pruning or actual pruning. Like I said, you could be in your garden. Maybe this gives you a lot of joy. But anyways, uh, Leo, it's really important for you to tap into this Eight of Wands energy, okay? Eight of Wands is not just about messages coming through or receiving messages. It's also about directing your energy okay it's keeping your eyes on the prize and you know um he's throwing a, um, a wand so it's like he's he's focused on his target okay so it's really important for you guys to continue to focus on your target um especially if you're in this respite period if you're doing some internal pruning or just it could be pruning outside of yourself removing people that no longer serve you or you know maybe not uh, responding a, a certain way that no longer serves you. It's like you're making these corrections. You're pruning and making some type of corrections. But I really feel like this is like internal, okay? But continue to do that during this time. Um, I really feel like this. you're in a respite period. And as you do this, Leo, you're going to have renewal. This is the Ace of Cups. It's renewal. It's like you, it's an opportunity for um uh, love to enter your life and a love for yourself most more than anything not really from someone else it's like you're going to have this self-love if you're not already feeling it right now but continue to direct your energy towards you know um, positivity towards growth as well um, the seven of pentacles uh, talks about being patient so be patient with yourself especially if you've been going through a lot of nervous or ha not nervous or um, having a lot of anxiety um, just be patient with yourself. Take your time, um, but use this time to really prune um, internally or even outside of yourself. You know, take a look at your life and 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 really decide what it is that you are are wanting. Okay, because I feel like once you figure this out, then it's going to be a renewal for you. It's Ace of Cups. Fill your own cup. You don't really need anyone to do that for you. Okay. We all want someone, you know, it doesn't matter what sign it is, you know, everyone wants to be supported and loved, but you got to be able to give that back to yourself. Okay, so Sagittarius, what's surrounding you, Sagittarius? Sagittarius, what's surrounding you, Sagittarius? Okay. Four of Wands. Princess of Cups and the World card. Okay, so Sagittarius, your home could definitely be a focus for you. Okay, at this time, um, I'm seeing, uh, I'm hearing like an apology or something um, because Princess of Cups it talks about offering something. Okay, you could be offering love, um, but it's not like big love. It's like for me, it's like an apology or your you know just saying sorry something like that you know and um either you're apologizing or someone is apologizing to you okay or you're desiring to do this um the world card here i feel like there's someone that's kind of untouchable okay this is a fixed sign person this can be um a scorpio aquarius a leo or uh, Taurus person. This could also be you. Okay, maybe you are out of reach. Okay, but there's someone that's out of reach in your in your household, either in your household or someone in the work environment. You could be wanting to be out of reach. You could be wanting to disconnect from people. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, but for the most part. Um, I definitely see a renewal here, okay? And this renewal could just be within your um, relationship because the Four of uh, Wands talks about 
uh, a marriage, a household, just a foundation, a strong foundation. I feel like there will be a renewal. Um, and I'm hearing the song, Meet Me Halfway. Okay. Uh, so if you want to apologize to someone or you want to bury the hatchet with someone, you know, I feel like there is an opportunity, but you're going to have to be willing to come out of your shell. If this is not you, this is the other person. You have to allow this person to come out when they get ready because this is a fixed sign. Fixed signs are not easy to give in. They can be very stubborn. So you could be very stubborn on this person. You both could be very stubborn, okay? But there needs to be a middle ground. Also, for some of you, there's a child I'm seeing, and I heard there's a child that bonds you guys, okay? Um, a ch there's a child that brings you guys together, okay? This could be a child coming through, or this could just be, you know, for some people, it's like joint parenting, okay? It's like co-parenting, something like that. This is what I'm seeing, okay? So um, not for all of you, but this is like some type of co-parenting I'm seeing. But most importantly, this is an opportunity for um, renewal. And it's uh, really important for you, uh, Sagittarius, if you've done something wrong, um, you know, acknowledge that and forgive yourself. It's not just um, asking someone for forgiveness. You got to forgive yourself, too. I really feel like this is what it is. This is exactly what it is. I really don't feel like it's apologizing to someone else. I feel like it's forgiving yourself, okay, or allowing the other person to forgive themselves okay because I feel like someone is really closed off here there's someone that's very closed off because they are a they're a um they're a fixed sign so they're very closed off but the home is definitely a focus for you guys okay and the home it, it could be the physical home or just people that are it's like people that are close to you I'm getting it's like people that are really close to you people that you built a foundation with this could even be friendship for some of you not all of you um but i also see something very positive okay and i see for some of you this is a new home i'm seeing okay uh others of you i just see like positivity like you're just feeling you're feeling pretty good like you are in your sanctuary like you're feeling very like I'm hearing encapsulated, like you feel like you're at peace now, like you're at peace. So some of you need to forgive yourself and others of you have forgiven yourself and are at peace. Okay, I'm saying that. Okay, additional message for Aries, additional message for Aries. Uh, okay, additional message for Leo. Leo, Leo, additional message for Leo. Okay, additional message for Sagittarius. Okay, so we're at a time here. Okay, so Aries, we have the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles actually came up for Virgo as an additional message. So it's really important that you guys take the initiative. Um, for me, the Ace of Pentacles is a seed, okay? So it's it's being very mindful about how you sowed your how you sow your seeds okay so what this means is you know um in regards to goals if you have a goal in mind sow that seed so you can be able to manifest what it is that you are desiring okay it's being mindful when you do that okay um this can also be sowing a seed with the person uh the type of people you're sowing seeds with are you sowing your seed with people who are um you know, uh, beneficial to your life, um, you know, things like that. Maybe that's not really a good example, but I think you guys get what I'm saying here. Okay. So be really aware in regards to how you sow your seed. Your, it's, it's your intentions. Okay. Um, what else am I seeing here? I also see that there's a new opportunity coming your way with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Um, there's, and this opportunity could be in regards to finances or having somebody into your life that is very um, supportive to you. Okay. Somebody that's going to help you, uh, I'm hearing, get out of Dodge. Okay. So there will be an opportunity to get out of Dodge, especially with this Ace of Wands. Okay, so Leo, this is Two of Swords. So Two of Swords is all about equanimity. 
blew that. <laughs> Equanimity. So having a peace of mind, being very decisive, um, not being led by your emotions, okay? Uh, choosing logic over anything, okay? Um, let me stop my timer. What else am I seeing? So it, most importantly, it's having this peace of mind, okay? And I keep on hearing respite. There's a, t there's a need for you to go within. And this is like scissors, okay? This is like scissors. I don't know what you call this right here. I don't know what you call this, like a sickle or something. But he's cutting away at the weeds, like I said. And as you look at this two of swords, this looks like scissors, Okay, so it's going back to removing what no longer serves you. Okay, cutting out what no longer serves you. Okay, and when you're able to do that, okay, you're going to have a sense of renewal, emotional renewal. You're going to feel really good, but most importantly, not allowing your emotions to get the best of you. See the situation for what it is and do something about it, but don't do something about it in an emotional, you know, way. Use your logic. Okay, because this is moon and Libra. Okay. And Libra can be very indecisive. <laughs> so for some of you, it's a call for you to really make up your mind and what it is in, in regards to what it is that you're wanting and then go for it. Focus on the target and go for it. Okay. So last card here. Oh my gosh. King of Wands. Look at you, Sagittarius. So this is you. You're sitting on your throne. Okay. Um, I'm hearing confidence. I'm hearing confidence over and over. So it's really important for you, Sagittarius, to have confidence in yourself. Trust that you're able to um, make the right decisions for yourself as well. It's not allowing the passion to die within you. It's being very dedicated as well. Um, there could be some uh, concerns in regards to your foundation. This foundation, like I said, it could be a home, but it also could be your work life because that's a foundation too. Okay. Um, seeing that there is five wands here, there could be some conflict, okay? Conflict within the home, a conflict within, in regards to your um, career, okay? So there's definitely a need for you to just um, address these things because the king of wands is action-oriented. He, he doesn't just sit down. Even though he is sitting down here, he is action-oriented. As for a fire sign, he takes the initiative, okay? And I feel like once you're able to resolve this conflict, whether it's within yourself or within your foundation, work, home, whatever, um, there's going to be a renewal, okay? There's going to be a renewal, and you're going to feel complete. You're going to feel as though you have everything that you need because that's what the world card is about. It's your, your own world. It's not the actual world that's outside of you. Yes, the outside world can affect you and other people, but most importantly, it's about your internal world, the world that you have created, okay? And I see some of you are wanting to have some balance, have some harmony within this world that you have created, okay? So I hope you guys like the reading. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to book a reading with me, send me an email. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and an amazing next month. Um, God bless. <laughs>